This is the Brecon Beacons National Park. It covers 520 square miles of some of the UK's most distinctive and impressive landscapes. Perhaps the most familiar is a flattened sandstone peak of Penny Fan, the highest point in the park, standing at nearly 900 metres. Let me take you on a journey through the park and its history. We'll be going from windswept uplands to fertile river valleys and thriving villages. Gentle rivers turn into spectacular waterfalls, cascading through limestone gorges, only to sink underground into some of the largest caves in Britain. One of the oldest surviving languages in Europe is Welsh, although now it is mainly spoken in farms and villages in the west of the park, it can be heard throughout the Brecon Beacons. A wide diversity of wildlife has made its home here, living in the park's varied habitats. But the main settler, of course, has been man. People have lived here for 250,000 years, but it's only in the last 15,000 that they've made any real impact on the landscape. It began with Neolithic hunter-gatherers cutting down great swathes of forest. They left behind stone circles and standing stones. No one really knows their significance or their secrets. Bronze Age burial mounds and Iron Age hill forts like this one near Thlangadog can still be seen in the park. As can the outlines of Roman forts. Carrick Kennan Castle rises dramatically from the Black Mountain. Built by the Normans in the Middle Ages, it must have been a very daunting sight for any would-be attacker. Many other impressive buildings stand proudly in the park, like Tritower Court near Krikau. By the 1800s, iron ore, coal and limestone from the area were contributing to the wealth of industrial Britain. Blynaven Ironworks and Big Pit straddled the park's southern border and are now part of a World Heritage Site. Together, they helped Wales become the first nation in the world to have more of its workforce employed in industry than in agriculture. The main arteries of this industrial heartland were initially canals and then railways. This is the idyllic Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal which now carries people rather than coal. And here, in the picturesque canal basin in Brecon, we have the start of the Taff Trail. The 93-kilometer route journeys through glorious countryside on its way to Cardiff. In 1957, the Brecon Beacons were given national park status. It has two statutory purposes. Firstly, to conserve and enhance the natural beauty, wildlife and cultural heritage of the park. And secondly, to promote opportunities for the enjoyment and understanding of its special qualities. Diversity and sustainability are paramount. It's a park with magnificent scenery, fantastic outdoor activities, and an abundance of wildlife. This is what makes the park so special. <laughs> 